Friday Fast Facts, and today we're talking to Trudy about dizziness. Do you want to introduce yourself to everyone first? Yes. Hello, I'm Trudy. I'm your first full-timer physio, one of the OGs. So good. Yes, it's been so long. I've got a special badge that says five years. <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> Um, I was lucky enough when I first started as a new grad, I had um, a lot of experience in that year and a lot of um, exposure to BPV, which is a certain type of dizziness. And after that, that just really piqued my interest. And I've done three full weekend courses on just treating um, inner ear disorders since then. I've got another one lined up in the Gold Coast in May. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Queenslander physio seems to be really good at mm. treating it. So, yeah. yeah. So nice. Yeah, and um, yeah, I've just I've fallen into the role of like educating, especially our physios about treating vertigo because it is something that um, physios can treat, and just really enjoying that sort of mentoring side as well. Yeah, so nice. So yeah. you know, a big part of these videos moving forward is not just sector things like what's going on in NDIS and aged care and pediatrics and all the different things we do, but really spreading awareness of all the different clinical things that we do. So we've such a large multidisciplinary team now and the wide scope of practice of every clinical stream, it's really important that we build all of our awarenesses of what each other does so that we can identify care needs so that people can get the help that they need. So dizziness, we've probably all heard a little bit about different conditions and people might have heard of vertigo or BP. PV, but uh, is there more than that? Yeah, for sure. So physiotherapy can help dizziness caused by inner ear conditions. Um, I have our inner ear here. To <laughs> so, so little. <laughs> it is so little. It always um, amazes me that something so small can cause so much trouble. But broadly speaking, there's three different categories we can treat. So there's BPPV. And that's where benign mom, paroxysmal positional vertigo. Very good. I very still good got job. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the little spiel I give people is that we have these little crystals in our inner ear that normally that's how our um, body detects where we are in relation to gravity. And they can fall into the wrong part of the inner ear, which confuses the brain and causes dizziness. And you probably can't see it there well, but there's little yeah, loops. Yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah. yeah, depending on which loop the crystal falls in, it's a different um, assessment and treatment. But we can do the main type, which when it falls down the bottom, most physios can treat that. Yeah, and um, I love treating BPV because it is so easy to treat. Most of the time you only need like one to three sessions and it's one of our few like... Um, Real magic like, moments. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, they think you're a wizard. So, yeah. <laughs> so we got, so got BPV and then we got peripheral vestibular hyperfunction as a broad term. And basically that just means if the inner ear, one of them isn't working correctly. So you've got a mismatch of, mismatch of information and that causes the dizziness. A lot of our clients will have that not so much dizziness, but as a form of imbalance because right. our inner ears control our balance quite well. So if they're not working as well, that's usually the most common cause of them falling over. Okay. Yeah, I think I do have a little stat. Yeah, it's if both inner ears aren't working as well, it's the most common cause of imbalance in right. the organ. Yeah, so that's something um, we can treat as well. And then we got the last category, broad one, is central vestibular dysfunction, which is when the brain isn't interpreting information as well and that's what's causing the confusion and the dizziness okay yeah yeah so, so lots of different types mm, yes uh, how does how does anyone identify that oh this may be dizziness and not a medication change or something and and mm. how do you strike that conversation and tell somebody that they might need a physio assessment for sure, for sure. The other one that's really um, commonly causes dizziness is many, uh, blood pressure changes as yep. well. So that can be easily confused. Yeah, I guess the the nicest, clearest way that will happen is if they say, I've turned my head and it feels like the room is spinning for a few seconds. That's a classic sign. We like to hear that because that usually means BPBV. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
So some um, sense of like head head movement might have been in the conversation. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they might have turned very quickly to the left and the room spun for say 10 seconds. If it's less than a minute, it usually means BPPV. Okay. Yeah. With the other um, two conditions, they can have vertigo for potentially hours. Right. Yeah. And they may or may not be um, triggered by head movement. With central vestibular dysfunction, it could even be movement around them. So yep. the TV could set them off or the cars going past and things like that. But, yeah, typically if you're not sure, like you're not a physio and you've got a client that's saying they're dizzy, what we're looking for is a head spinning, head spinning feeling. Right. Which is what vertigo is. Vertigo is a head spinning feeling. So yeah. what are some of the different types of assessments or treatments that um, occur just so people have a bit of awareness of what happens after they've went, okay, this person dizzy, physio referral sent, internal referral completed. I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the most common test we do, which is for the common type of BPV, is called the Dix Hall Pike. So that's basically the patient turns their head and then lie down on bed nice and quick. Um, I found a technique to make it as comfortable as possible. We just put a pillow behind their back and you don't have to throw them over the edge of the bed like most yep. videos have to do. <laughs> yep. uh, I do have these special video goggles that we chuck on because the direct, what we're looking for with the assessment is um, nystagmus, which is just a fancy name for eye twitches. And the direction that the eye twitch is going will tell me which ear is affected, which hoop the um, the crystals are fallen into, or if it's not even, you know, BPV, if it's a hypofunction problem or something mm -hmm. like that. And it actually, it's really cool, it connects to a phone and I can record it and replay it later. To, so um, the person can actually understand, okay, this is what's going on. and Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. and it can be reassuring them. for them because they can go, you know, I'm almost feeling like this is all in my head, like it's such a horrible mm. thing and people can't find anything. And you go, yeah. well, look at this. Your like, yeah. eyes are going crazy. I might try and put, <laughs> when I post this, I can put some links to like nystagmus because I mm. don't, don't want to assume that everyone's seen that people might not have actually seen, you know, what true nystagmus can look like too. It's quite Absolutely. Phenomenal. Yeah, and that's a real art form in itself is um, even just identifying nystagmus, let alone which direction it's going and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so helpful. What other things with the next, you know, minute or so would you like people to know? What do you think would help for, you know, we're in such a privileged position to have so many skilled people out in the community I, and being able to identify these sorts of care needs, mm. what do you think the team needs to know that you haven't already discussed? I think the main thing for our population is that they don't have to put up with feeling this awful way. Mm. Like yeah. so, so many conditions that, you know, if it turns into a chronic thing, we see people restricting their activity, restricting mm. their engagement with ADLs, with socialisation, and you get that negative feedback loop across their whole life starting. But dizziness yeah. is just so, I said it wrong before the call, debilitating. See? Pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. good. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Like I've had clients that have had to stop driving yeah. because of it, and we've gotten them back to driving again. So good. It is. Yeah, it it's is. really nice. Yeah, yeah. So I guess... Like, I wouldn't be, you know, if people are worried about giving us a referral that's not appropriate, that's okay. We can just get put the referral in and we can work it out from there. Yeah. But definitely if they've got the head spinning feeling, we should be able to help them with that. Um, I th think maybe on the central coast we might have a bit less capacity mm -hmm. for the really trickier ones. But um, I'm going to throw Danny's name out because he's going to be doing courses soon. I've <laughs> just thrown him under the bus. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll take it. <laughs> That's it. And um, so George is going to do one too. Ah, nice. I, I love, I love. I want to so share the love of treating so vertigo. Lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And it'll be in our next, we'll have dizziness as a care need in our next provider email next month and we'll see some things like... Um, across website. I think there's a Facebook campaign coming out as well shortly. Oh, wonderful. Yep. Yeah. So that'll be um, a purposeful ad that 
will target predominantly older adults to raise awareness about our ability to help them and they'll be prompted to like if they need help they'll complete a form and we mm. can have a chat with them um, across admin to see if it is something that we can help for and screen for yep. yeah wonderful that'd be really good yes. I'd love to have more vertigo guys to treat <laughs> so nice <laughs> Keep well, yeah so good i think um we, we definitely went over our five minutes, but hopefully we've, <laughs> we were always going to. <laughs> the buzzer went off and I was like, yeah, we were never yeah. going to do five minutes. Oh, well, sorry. I've, I've had fun. <laughs> yeah, me too. Sorry, everyone, but hopefully that's brought a lot of value. I'll put I'll put a couple of links maybe to the goggles because um, they are a really cool piece of equipment. I think they're mm. a couple of thousand dollars. Um, Thank and you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um but it's important that we have the right equipment um, to be able to assess. And then just maybe a link to nystigmus just because it's quite interesting. And I don't think everyone has truly seen it. And if you haven't seen it for a while, it's always good to see it again. <laughs> yes, always yeah. super interesting. Yeah, <laughs> So good. Well, sure. I'll, I'll stop recording now and see everyone in the next Friday Fast Facts. <laughs> see you. <ya. Bye> <laughs>